One sister is asking about the ruling uh, of, or what's, and what to say to a husband who ignores his wife. Now, ignoring his wife here is a very broad term. And it can mean different things. So I don't know what the sister intended. If what is intended is emotional, uh, emotionally ignoring your wife, well, that goes against the spirit of harmony uh, within the, the two spouses. How can one ignore his wife's feelings and emotions if she's saddened, if she's grieved, if she's tired? You know, pat her back, hug your wife, even if you're fasting. It's okay, it's allowed. Hug your wife, tell her how much you appreciate what she's doing, how much you love her how much you care for her, how much you are lucky that you have such a wife who takes care of him, cooks for him, cleans his, his house, takes care of the children, teaches the, the children because now teaching is only online and everything has to be on the parent's shoulder. So if the wife is doing that, be appreciative of that. Show that, express that, don't keep, don't keep it inside express it women like to hear that and us men as well so the sisters would know we also like to hear that we are appreciated oh honey i am so lucky this corona issue is bad but one of the best things about it is that it made you stay with me for such a long period i get to see you longer every day why do you guys feel that this is artificial? This is love. Islam does not forbid love. Islam is the religion of love. Especially between people between whom love is legislated and instructed and enjoined and encouraged. She's your wife and he's your husband. You're together you're like a Valkro. Khalas, you're stuck together. So live this life with love, with harmony. Appreciate one another, love one another, express your love to one another, touch one another, hold your husband's hand, hold your wife in your shoulder, you know, in your, in your, to bring her to your chest, hug her, say something nice. That's, that's marital life in Islam. This addresses both, by the way, brothers and sisters, both of you are addressed. So, if the, if the, I don't know who sent these questions. If it's a, a brother, don't feel, yes, the sheikh said, well, I said what you wanted to hear and what she wanted to hear. So I said what's for you and what's for her. So take both and don't, don't take your part of the story only or your, what you're concerned with only and ignore what is said in her favor and likewise for the sister.